Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. I had a great weekend at Dayton Hamvention in Xenia, and I had a chance to interview the guys from RF Power Tools. They're the guys that have the QRP amp called the Hard Rock in a 50 watt version and a 100 watt version. Let's check out the interview now. Jim yeah. from the, uh, it's RF Power Tools, it looks yeah. like. Yeah, we're rebranding re and we're reducing kits. So our 50 watt amplifier is now, take it out of the box, plug it in. Works with the KX3, the IC705. And how much out with that? 50 watts, right? Uh, that one there is the 100 watt amplifier. That's the 50 watt over there. They're virtually the same size. Yep, they're virtually the same size. The 100 watt is still a kit, but as soon as we get FCC type acceptance, it'll be a, uh, a product that you just pick up. Because it's a kit, you in. can sell it. Right, right. Because you're building it, we're not. Um, is this the inside? No, this, oh, this is, is a new else. product. This is a new <laughs> product which should be ready by the end of the year. It's a new line of antenna tuners. Oh, look at this, guys. Uh, this is the prototype. We see a couple of areas where antenna tuners can improve. Uh, this is either a desktop unit like you see here, or it can also be a remote unit. And the remote unit has a remote head that looks just like the desktop unit so that you can, uh, all of the uh, uh, functions of the tuner, that with the tuner where it should be right by the antenna. Okay. And, uh, the oh, so, you, so this is made so you get this is made this waterproof and everything, so you can put it right at the end, like you have vertical or something. Right, and you can it has multiple antennas that you can select oh, that. from. Better than all most from radios. inside the shack, yeah. So, oh, that's nice. So, this part goes in the shack, right? And then this, what's, what's this well, part? This is, this is a, a bias. This is just a basic bias T. You can use okay. two options a basic bias T or a full control bias T. Okay, um, either one of these, these have Wi Fi interfaces so that if you want to put it up the tower. You can control it from your phone. Oh, nice. Set the thresholds and set which antennas used on which bands and things like that. Okay. So. And uh, you guys changed your name, so it's uh, RF Power Tools yep. by Hobby PCB. Yep. And these guys are, were the hard, you guys were Hard Rock, right? Or what yeah, were well, you the Hard Rock is the product. That's the product, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, you were Hobby PC, PCB, yeah. right? Right. We, right now, with our products are uh, amplifiers for QRP radios. So five watts in will get you either 50 or 100 and, watts out. American made? The, I mean, as much as you could. Right now, the, for the final assembly is done in America on these right now. I mean, uh, the, I, the some are parts are going to, yeah, parts are going to come from other places. Right. I understand that. But you guys are assembling stuff here. Yes. Okay, yes. good. That's awesome, man. And well, what, this is the Hunter. What, what would this run in a built form when you guys, or do you know yet? Um, so the, the amplifier right now is $600. It might be a little bit more, 50 or or $100 more in the built form. Okay. Uh, if you the, want to put an ATU in it, oh, the, okay, so the 50 watt is 425 Okay. The ATU is a $200 option. It can go in either amplifier. So um, this, eight, not this ATU. Not the ATU, it's uh, that one right there. <laughs> oh, this thing right here, guys. Yeah. Okay. And All right. if you put it in and use it with the IC705, mm -hmm. the IC705 thinks it has a tuner in it. Uh, it would if it was, uh, the, oh, we, we must have switched the amplifier off, so it lost its Bluetooth connection. Um, oh, so it's Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, it's Bluetooth to the, uh, to the for radio. That, for the control. Yeah. Awesome. And actually, I think it's, it's And you guys, in the past, you guys were always out, because it's, it's such a popular thing, right? I mean, and now you guys are producing more, is that what, what I understood? Y yes, we should have more. Because I always looked at you guys, and every time I looked, it's like, oh, dang, they're out of stock again. It's probably with kits. It's very labor intensive. Yep. Kettle, All right. Cutting screws. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the interview. And I, I, you know, I, I had a really good time at, at uh, the Hamvention. And if you did enjoy this kind of content, please hit the like, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell so you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck for Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you for spending your time with me. 73 all, and hope to get you guys on the airwaves.